In this video, you'll see how to manage patching of your Amazon Machine Images, or AMIs, to ensure they receive the latest software updates and can be used to create stable and secure instances. Before you can set up patching for your AMIs, you first need to ensure your Amazon Web Services account is configured for AWS Systems Manager automation. You'll need to do this even if you intend to patch your AMIs manually. To get started, let's go to the Systems Manager homepage. The Systems Manager documentation can guide you through the configuration process. First, you'll need to verify that your user account has permission to run automation workflows, following the guidance here. Once you have the appropriate permissions, you can configure instance access by creating and assigning an instance profile role. There are two methods of configuring roles for automation. You can use an AWS cloud formation template, or you can manually create the role and trust relationship in AWS Identity and Access Management. We're going to configure automation using an AWS cloud formation template. This page in the AWS documentation provides a useful button to help you create a stack in CloudFormation that automatically configures your account for Systems Manager automation. Notice that the exact template you need to configure your account for automation is already specified. Next, select the region where you want to create it. Now, let's proceed through the stack creation process. Review the options, and then click Next. After reviewing the configuration, accept the terms, and then create the stack. Once the stack has been created, your account is configured for automation. Next, let's navigate to our Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2, AMIs. In this case, our organization has one AMI that is used for dev test scenarios. In order to set up patching for this AMI, we'll need to copy its ID so we can use it later when we customize the automation document. Now, let's return to Systems Manager to see how to patch AMIs. First, let's look at how you can manually patch an AMI using automation. First, choose an automation document to execute. Notice that separate automation documents are available for updating Linux or Windows AMIs. In this case, we'll choose the Windows document. These input parameters allow you to customize the document before you execute it. We need to specify the ID of the AMI we want to patch, so let's paste the ID we copied earlier. Notice that the roles for Automation and Systems Manager are already populated, based on the settings specified in the Cloud Formation stack we configured earlier. Once this document is executed, it will create a new, updated AMI with a system-generated name, as defined here. You can also specify optional parameters, such as specific Microsoft Knowledge Base IDs to include or exclude, categories of updates, or MSRC severity levels. Now, let's execute this document. Here, you can see the specific steps the document is executing, and the status of each. After launching a temporary instance based on the existing AMI, the AWS drivers and management software will be updated. The document will also check for and install any available Windows updates. Once the updates to the instance have been applied, SysPrep executes to prepare the new image. Then, after the new AMI is created, the temporary instance is terminated. Now that the document has finished executing, let's return to our list of available AMIs. As you can see, a new AMI has been created and is ready for use. 
Now, let's see how you can automate the patching of AMIs on a predefined schedule. To do this, we'll use CloudWatch rules. Let's quickly create a new rule. We'll define a simple schedule that executes this rule every 20 days. More complex patterns can be defined using cron expressions. Next, we'll add a target for this rule. Here, we want to invoke an SSM automation document. We'll select the same automation document we use to patch manually. As before, we need to specify the ID of the AMI we want to patch, as well as any optional parameters. Next, we'll give this rule a name, and then finish creating the rule. Here's the rule we just created. Now, the image will be regularly updated. You've just seen how to manage patching of your Amazon machine images to ensure they receive the latest software updates and can be used to create stable and secure instances. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.